So I'm willing to bet that you recognize this image, right? I mean, I think everyone's seen this. I mean, unless you've been living under a rock, I think you've definitely seen this. We've all had it pop up on Instagram with, you know, whatever you're into. I mean, it's applicable to almost any sort of topic, really. But what if I were to tell you that this was a cropped version of the image and I could zoom out? See? And then here with this one too, I mean, we all know this, right? I'm sure 99% of anyone watching this knows this image. And what if I told you the same thing? This is a cropped image and you've never seen the original, which I'll show you now. Would you believe me? Well, probably not because you've read the title of this video. So as I'm sure you're aware, this is generated by AI. And I feel like this is just another look into our future that we're going to have to deal with. Let's unpack this. So this is an example of Photoshop's uh, generative AI that they released. It was in early 2023. And um, here's the page I have up now. On a side note, I will say I did just spend about an hour trying to find a highlighter for this video. You, you would not believe how difficult it is to find an actual good highlighter tool that doesn't give you trouble. Like, I mean, half of them wanted me to make an account. But anyway, we've got one now. Here's Photoshop's page and they're advertising this AI tool as something that can drastically alter your images in, in sort of any form because I mean it, here we've got add, remove or expand. Three key words because I mean what else can you really do with an image? Nothing. Delete it. I mean you could do that already. So this pretty much covers all bases in terms of making an image look how you want it to look because we all know what Photoshop's for, making images look the way you want editing them deeply. I mean, you can do some really good editing on Photoshop, but why would you if you can have a, an AI generate it for you? I mean, it, it will take seconds compared to whatever you'll have to do. So I guess the main selling point of this, the same as probably most AI tools really, is less time. To save you time, you can get it done easier, you know. And so these are the selling points that Photoshop is bringing with this AI tool. Add more to anything anywhere on your image. So this is sort of what I was showing you at the start where you can create parts of an image that never existed. The AI sort of takes its best guess at what it thinks the outside of the image would look like, the bit that's not already there. And I mean, this this could have loads of, of, of applicable uses for creators. I mean, if, you're, if you've taken a picture and you've decided, oh, I've taken it in the wrong aspect ratio resolution, and you need it for something else, you know, to fit on a billboard or whatever, then you can just have it expanded outwards. And yeah, this is this is how they're sort of selling it as it's high quality because you, you don't have to, you know, compromise on the quality of the image, but it's low time commitment because you can just get it done just like that. Expand the image, which I'll show you in a second. They've got a video here. Refine, retouch, rework. They've got that here as well. So that's like anything on the image that you sort of don't really like the look of you want to fix it up you know that's they've got some examples here and then cut out unwanted elements with ease we've seen this in phones as well a lot of phones started adding this tool where if you take a picture and someone's in it and you don't want them there you sort of just like highlight them and it cuts them out um but i would say that is like a an older form of this this is definitely a more refined version so this is this is their video that they've got up which i'll show you now So, I mean, this first part, this is this is just, I mean, we've seen this all before with like Mid Journey and Dali, and it's just image generation. I, to be honest, I doubt this was this will get used nearly as much as the sort of generative fill-in images and refining tools because, I mean, a lot of them are just sort of generic and, I mean, anyone sort of in the professional space can spot when an AI image has been, you know, generated. I will say, though, the sort of like boomer market they haven't got a clue i mean if you've seen those those facebook posts where people post like the african children building things out of bottles 
all the boomers are saying, oh, this is so beautiful, like, they're making use of what they've got and all this, but obviously it's just totally fake, it's generated by AI, and to be fair, half the comments are probably AI anyway. But anyway, so this is a better example, I think, of how this tool can be utilized. So here you have this picture, it's sort of, you know, sort of in like a four by three aspect ratio, and let's say you need it wider for whatever reason, I mean, maybe you're on a 16 by nine, some sort of advertisement. And so you sort of just select the outside and it can generate it in, I'll, I'll show you now. And I mean, that is crazy, right? That was what, one click? I mean, I feel like if you looked into it really closely, like here, the, the Ferris wheel, that looks a bit dodgy. But if you just sort of looked at it and no one told you it was AI generated, it's one of those like background camouflage things. You, you would just never know unless you were looking for it. So I think that that could be utilized really well. I mean, even this part I would say is pretty insane. They just sort of like generate a Jaguar into the um, into this library here. And I mean, of course it doesn't look real, but it looks like really good as far as, you know, graphical design goes. I mean, I mean, that will save you a lot of time just doing that. But anyway, this all obviously ties into just how AI is being picked up by companies, despite this was in early 2023. I mean, we've seen millions of dollars of investment by all the large mega companies because it is sort of a race at this point. And this is just another example of how generative tools are going to make deception easier. And it's just going to be a lot harder in the future to sort of see what's real and what's fake and it, it's already getting pretty bad as i mentioned with the facebook thing but um especially as people have mentioned with the election year coming up not only in the united states but i will say in the uk as well although i doubt that will be as much of a big deal for the ai it's something to definitely think about but i really do think tools like this are just a look into the future that we can expect and i mean some sort of legislation has got to be sorted really because i mean Deception is bad enough, especially among older people, and it's only going to get much worse. One thing I will say is this is Adobe's stock here that I've got up, and they released this tool, I think it was around March of 23, which was around here, and all I'm saying is that is a pretty steep increase for Adobe. Could it be related to the AI? probably at least somewhat i would i would can't imagine it would be totally 100 percent the reason it shot up however it i'm sure it's played a role but yeah i mean this is the type of stuff we can be expecting from now on um subscribe if you found any of this useful and thanks for watching